lower than that. Then again, to drag it in alongside here. They began to drag it in alongside Peter. And when they got, when they got there, they got to the shore. Bitch, what is it, the eighth or the ninth verse? Well, what did Peter do? I think it's the ninth verse. With Simon Peter? Yes, sir, eighth verse. Eighth verse. With Simon Peter, uh -huh. saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying that. Depart from me, for I am a sinful man. Hold on. Now, Peter did this. Uh -huh. Come on. Because he obeyed the word of the Lord. But he didn't necessarily believe the word of the Lord. And when he saw what happened, when he obeyed, it moved him to repentance. Too many times, a lot of us, when we get blessed, we arrogant and conceited with it. Like we, we by the most high. Like we deserve it. We earned that. But Peter understood that I did nothing to deserve what you just blessed me with. I, I, I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy to be in your presence. So please, Jesus, leave me because I doubt it's your word. Now, Jesus being Jesus understood that this is a man that I can use. Now, that brings me to my next question. Can he use you? Can he use you? You're not going to be conceited with him. He can use you. You're not arrogant. He can use you. When you're humble, he can use you. When you're grateful, he can use you. When you understand that I don't deserve the blessings of God. I'm not worthy of the blessings that you keep giving me because I fall every day I fall and I have to realize that it's not because of me being so good that I have this but it's the grace and mercy of God that we're able to have what we have now we, we understand that Jesus after that he began to tell them that drop your nets Leave them there because you don't have to fish for fish anymore. But I'm going to make you fishers of men. I'm going to make you fishers of men. Basically, Jesus showed them what happens when you do things right in a place where things can happen. You're in a place where you think nothing can happen for you. It's not that anything can't happen for you. It's the way you're doing it is why things are happening for you. And that's what he began to show them. If you do things my way, if you do things my way, and you listen to the word that I give you, the same way I just bless you with those fish, is the same way I'll bless the church. Why was it important for Jesus to show them that? Because don't nobody want to work somewhere where there's no growth. You don't want to be a part of something that's staying in the same place year in, year out, day in, day out. There's there's never anything growing there. There's no progress. But he began to show them that if you take me at my word, the same way you need to help bring those fish in, it's the same way you're going to be when I bring souls in. Oh, yeah. This vessel yeah. is blessed. Yeah. Why? Because Jesus occupies this vessel. Somebody say that Jesus, Jesus. occupies my vessel. my vessel. Say it like you mean it. Jesus, Jesus. occupies my vessel. my vessel. So that means I'm blessed. Yes. Everything that I touch can be blessed. Yes. Why? Because Jesus 
occupies this vessel. Somebody give God a hand clap of praise. Some of us have been waiting all week. Dealing with things. Dealing with people. Dealing with jobs. Finances. Whatever it may be. Y'all will say it's all good. Because I've got Jesus. Y'all will say it like you mean to say it's all good. Because I've got Jesus. It's going to be all right. Because I've got Jesus. I will make it. Because I got Jesus. I'm going to be all right. Because I got Jesus. It doesn't look good. But I still got Jesus. It doesn't feel good. But I still got Jesus. It doesn't sound good. But I still got Jesus. You always just say, I've got Jesus.